our kind of approach is it's a little bit actually new for medicine this idea that you might have a medicine that you show up and you are prescribed it and you take it and you actually stay at the doctor's office all day to receive the treatment and then maybe you don't go back for another year and or at least you don't go back for the psilocybin or any other compound for a year but maybe you work in between to kind of make some kind of therapeutic progress. Um, we don't actually have many other drugs that you do that with, but I kind of liken it to, um, to surgery, that if you have a particular problem that requires you to go and be at the hospital for a day and you get your surgery and then the doctor checks up on you the next day, makes sure you're doing okay, sends you home. I mean, people do that all the time. And so in my mind, it's kind of a little bit like that. I think there might be an avenue for medicinal use that looks a little bit like that, not something that you could just get a prescription for and go home and take it. Um, I would say that the, the way psilocybin looks to us in the controlled, safe, supportive setting is almost like an entirely different compound than the way it looks recreationally. And I've spoken to a lot of people who have tons of experience recreationally, even really uh, purposeful experiences, spiritual ex exploration, when we describe our kind of procedure, it's kind of a totally new way of doing things that uh, you'd think that if we were just kind of copying what people are doing out there in the world, that experienced users would be like, oh yeah, I know about that, that's what I do. And instead it seems like it's a kind of a different approach that even they're not familiar with. So I do think that there's kind of a, an application there. Mm -hmm.